With us now for reaction, GOPAC chair and Fox News contributor Michael Steele and Democratic pollster Doug Schoen. Doug, poll show, daily tracking polls, Obama is coming up. Right. He's not being hurt by this. So if they want to keep using it against him, it's, if this is that what the goal is, it's not working. Not working with Democratic primary voters, working with general election voters. The more detailed analysis of the subgroups shows among independents and Republicans, working class voters, he's hemorrhaging in terms of key states like Florida, Ohio, Michigan for the general election. But you're right, Alan, for the primary. Here, they're pretty astounding here. Rasmussen had a poll. 56% yep. of Americans now, as a result of this controversy, are less likely to want to vote for Barack Obama. Pew poll, nearly 40% of right. people. In, in, in that particular poll, among Democrats, 17 percent of Democrats, Fox News poll, news poll right. think that he shares the views of his pastor. Think that you, all the all those incendiary remarks. Well, that's Sean, hemorrhaging and beyond. Yeah, I, well, I made it clear to yeah. Alan that it is. Here's the real problem that the numbers underscore. Obama's running a campaign of unity, yet he has not distanced himself completely from a minister who is divisive. He said that Reverend Wright has apologized. The Reverend Wright has in no way apologized. That's right. And until uh, Obama makes it clear that he will have nothing to do with the Reverend Wright and completely repudiates him, these numbers will be a problem. You oh, chose him again to, you know, marry yes. you, to baptize yes. your children. You yes. named a book after one of his speeches. For 20 years, would you think then, as some have suggested, that that is a lack of judgment on the man? You had no idea? You never heard about these well, sermons? Well, the, the, well the, the, these, the particular ones that you mentioned, mm. I hadn't heard. But like I said, this was over the course of 20 years. What you've been seeing is a snippet of a man. All right, Elizabeth Hasselbeck, who did a terrific interview on The View today. That was Barack Obama once again trying to explain his 20-year relationship with the Reverend Jeremiah Wright. We continue now with Michael Steele and Doug Schoen. You know, I, I want to pick up on Elizabeth's points. I mentioned the IMS question that, I, that she had, Michael, which I thought was a phenomenal question and a pathetic answer. But more importantly, this gets to the heart of two issues. Honesty. Do yeah. you believe that he didn't know for 20 years and the judgment for associating with somebody and not at some point realizing this is not a person I need to associate with. Do you believe he was honest? Do you question his judgment? I, I do very much question the judgment here because and it, honesty? It, it is in honesty too because I find it very hard to believe. I mean as someone who uh, spent years uh, in a monastery, as someone who's had a spiritual director, uh, I know the closeness of that relationship. I know uh, the time you spend with that individual, there's a connection there, and you share at a no. multitude of levels. And I find it very hard to believe that you did not have some well, understanding or inkling of right. the general philosophy, if not the specific words. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't. I, mm. I don't believe his excuses. Now, let me let me turn to Doug. Yeah. If I see, I don't see a way out of yeah. this for him because he was there for 20 years. Yeah. And we're only beginning to touch the right. surface. This isn't about five snippets. Right. This is about a lot of right. controversial and outrageous remarks. What would you advise him to do? I'd advise him to change the subject. He was introduced. He, can't. he was introduced this week in New York by Mike Bloomberg, a nonpartisan mayor who believes in the same ideas that Barack Obama espouses. Put him into practice here in New York. Who is Jewish? who is centrist and an expert on the economy. You partner Changes with Bloomberg, you right, remove let me ask you this. But, but centrality it, of Reverend Wright. Right, but now that he's gone on record saying, I wasn't there, I never heard right. these things before, th th these were just a right. few little snippets, what if the press, which, and by the way, I have no faith right. in the moveon.org right. press that you know, favors liberals, but what if the press goes back, finds the dates that he was there, right. the things that he heard in those sermons, and what if, in fact, it's proven that he did know about these things? What, it's, does that mean his candidacy ends? That he can't win in a general election? The reason I suggest he announces no, no, he's going to no, run no, no, no. with Bloomberg is right. because I think it will continue, Sean. And I you think do. he needs to change the subject. And you and think it's going to be proven he's been dishonest? dishonest. I think it's going to be proven that he, he knew more. That he knew more. But you go back to the first sermon, the so-called audacity of hope. White greed. Which are, white greed has created the world's problems. Right, it's me, a problem. Michael, uh, yeah, Michael yeah, Steele, yeah, look, yeah, he, he, he never denied that he didn't hear or heard the Reverend make controversial statements. He said he never heard specific statements that were used on those tapes over and over again. He acknowledged that
that he has said things with which we vehemently disagree. He didn't claim ignorance right. that his pastor yeah. was controversial. Yeah. And, and Alan, frankly, I, I think I, this campaign, Michael, when we yeah. start talking about the economy and we talk about the Iraq war and we yeah. start talking about the issues the American people care about, you'd rather talk about the pastor of Barack Obama no. than the real issues of people affecting no, no, the Alan, people of this country. I appreciate your, your effort there, but no, that's not true at all. And I think uh, what my point is, and this is where I, I, I slightly disagree with Doug, I think this is systemic. I think this is deep. This is this has really touched a nerve with a lot of general election voters out there. And I agree, no matter how much you talk about these issues, whether it's the war, whether it's the economy, uh, when they get to November, this issue is going to well up for them because I, it goes to honesty, integrity, uh, and trust, think people, no matter how you come down yeah. on the issues. So, don't, don't you think people are able to separate a pastor from a person who goes to that church and this guilt by yes. association game uh, and this idea that we're playing this Absolutely linking. they can separate it, but you made an important point, Alan. They're going to vote on the war in Iraq where our condition is deteriorating, on an economy which is also deteriorating. They're going to be ultimately more interested in that. Sean's right. Barack Obama has a real problem with Reverend Wright. But ultimately, this is an election that's going to t turn on issues of war, peace, and the right. economy, and we get to the general not election, on 20-year-old speeches. Even if he is sliding now in the general, when we get to that point and that becomes a topic of conversation, isn't that going to help the Democratic nominee, George, whoever that person? George Bush is a far greater millstone around the neck of John McCain than Reverend Wright around Barack Obama. Are you Obama. saying, are you saying that Barack Obama should pick Michael Bloomberg as his running mate? I said that tonight. It would give him a guy with credentials on the economy, on centrist, proven supporter of Israel. Maybe, a threefer. Maybe Michael Steele will vote for that ticket. Uh, Michael Steele, uh, given his past uh, politics, <laughs> should endorse it. All right. Yeah, all right. Absolutely. Well, yeah, thank you both very much. Thank you. Checking in with uh, Greta. Greta, here to tell us what's coming up right after Hannity and Combs. Good evening, Greta.